Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. In this video, we will look at how we can use the stoichiometric relationships contained in balanced chemical equations to determine amounts of substances consumed and produced in chemical reactions. At the end of this video, learners are expected to relate the mole concept to the molar mass of substances and use dimensional analysis as a mathematical technique in solving basic stoichiometric problems. Happy Mole Day! Mole Day is celebrated annually on October 23 from 6.02 a.m. to 6.02 p.m. to commemorate Avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 to 23rd, which is a basic measuring unit in chemistry. Mole Day was created as a way to foster interest in chemistry. Mole is the unit of measurement for amount of substance in the international system of units. It is defined as exactly 6.0221476 times 10 raised to 23rd particles, which may be atoms, molecules, ions, or electrons. It is the fundamental measuring unit in chemistry. Atomic mass is a weighted average of all the isotopes of that element in which the mass of each isotope is multiplied by the abundance of that particular isotope. It has a unit of atomic mass unit or AMU. As mentioned above, isotopes are different forms of an element that have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. For example, carbon is normally present in the atmosphere in the form of gases like carbon dioxide, and it exists in three isotopic forms, carbon-12 and carbon-13 which are stable, and carbon-14 which is radioactive. These forms of carbon are found in the atmosphere in relatively constant proportions, with carbon-12 as the major form of about 99%, carbon-13 as a minor form at about 1%, and carbon-14 present only in tiny amounts. Using the atomic number and the relative abundance of these isotopes, carbon will have 12.011 atomic mass unit per atom. The average atomic mass, sometimes called atomic weight, of an element is the weighted average mass of the atoms in a naturally occurring sample of the element. Average masses are generally expressed in unified atomic mass units or U or it can also be atomic mass unit or AMU, where 1 AMU is equal to exactly 1 twelfth the mass of a neutral atom of carbon-12. In our first example, Calculate the average atomic mass of chlorine if its abundance in nature is 75.77% for chlorine-35 and 24.23% for chlorine-37. To get the average atomic mass, we simply multiply the atomic number of chlorine to its relative abundance in nature, then add the two products then divide it by 100. In doing the calculation in our first example, we have 35.48 atomic mass unit for chlorine. While on our second example, calculate the average atomic mass of oxygen if its abundance in nature is 99.76% for oxygen-16, 0.04% for oxygen-17, and 0.23% for oxygen-18. Performing the calculation, we have 16 atomic mass unit for oxygen. The characteristic molar mass of an element is simply the atomic mass in gram per mole. However, Molar mass can also be calculated by multiplying the atomic mass in AMU or atomic mass unit by the molar mass constant which is 1 gram per mole. To calculate the molar mass of a compound with multiple atoms, sum all the atomic mass of the constituent atoms. In calculating the molar mass, first, list each element present in the molecule. You may use the chemical symbol or write out the name of the element. Then. Count the atoms according to the molecular formula and write them next to the element's name or symbol. For methane, which is CH4, least carbon and hydrogen. Methane comprises one atom of carbon and four atoms of hydrogen. For glucose, C6H12O6, least carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Glucose comprises six atoms of carbon, 12 atoms of hydrogen, and six atoms of oxygen. To get the molecular weight, the second step is multiplying the atomic mass of each element by the number of atoms of that element. Third step is finding the molecular weight of methane or CH4. The atomic mass of hydrogen is 1.008 atomic mass unit, 
the atomic mass of carbon is 12.011 atomic mass unit. There are 4 hydrogen atoms in methane. Add together the weight of all the atoms in methane to find the molecular weight, which is 16.043 grams per mole. While in calculating the molecular weight of glucose, C6H12O6, the atomic mass of carbon is 12.011 atomic mass unit. The atomic mass of hydrogen is 1.008 atomic mass unit. The atomic mass of oxygen is 15.999 atomic mass unit. There are 6 carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and 6 oxygen atoms. Add up the mass of all the atoms in glucose to calculate the molecular weight, which is equivalent to 180.156 grams per mole. Stoichiometry is the study that deals with the quantitative aspect of chemical reactions, which involves the mass relationship between the reactants and their products. The equation describes the burning of hydrogen gas to form liquid water. Chemical equations give the following information about chemical reactions. Chemical equations show the formulas for the substances that take part in the reaction. Dimensional analysis is a useful method which utilizes a conversion factor and involves the cancellation of units in order to obtain the desired quantity. The equation below shows how to use dimensional analysis. Desired quantity is equals to given quantity multiplied to its conversion factor. Converting mass to moles. To convert mass to moles, we use the formula moles is equals to mass over molar mass. Looking at the units in this equation, the mass unit cancels out to get moles. Converting moles to mass. To convert moles to mass, we use the formula mass is equals to moles multiplied to molar mass. Looking at the units in this equation, the mole unit cancels out to get the mass unit. Calculating mass to moles and vice versa. The figure below summarizes the aforementioned general relationship between mass and moles. To apply our formulas, let's answer this first sample problem. One of the components of photocells and space vehicles is rubidium. How many moles are there in 9.50 grams of rubidium? The molar mass of rubidium is 85.47 grams per mole. Step 1 is to identify the problem. You are asked to compute for the moles of rubidium in a given mass of rubidium. Step 2. Identify the given in the problem. The mass and molar mass of rubidium are given. Mass of rubidium is equals to 9.50 grams, while molar mass of rubidium is equals to 85.47 grams per mole. Step 3 is to write the working equation. Moles is equals to mass over molar mass. Step 4. Substitute the given value to the working equation. Moles is equals to 9.50 grams divided by 85.47 grams per mole. Using our equation, calculate the moles of rubidium. There are 0.111 moles of rubidium in 9.50 grams of rubidium. Sample problem number 2. Copper is a good conductor of electricity and this is the reason why it is used in electrical wiring. How many grams of copper are there in 81.60 moles of copper? The molar mass of copper is 63.55 grams per mole. Step 1 is to identify the problem. You are asked to compute for the mass of copper in a given molar mass of copper. Step 2. Identify the given in the problem. The moles and molar mass of rubidium are given. Moles of copper is equals to 81.60 moles. Molar mass of copper is equals to 63.55 grams per mole. Step 3 is to write the working equation. Mass is equals to mole multiplied to grams per mole. Step 4. Substitute the given value to the working equation. Mass is equals to 81.60 moles multiplied to 63.55 grams per mole. Using the equation, calculate the mass of copper. 
there are 5,185.68 grams of copper in 81.60 moles of copper. In converting moles to number of particles, the given value of mole is multiplied by Avogadro's number. The unit of mole is present in the numerator and denominator. Hence, it will be cancelled. This results to the unit particles atoms, ions, molecules, or formula units in the numerator which is the desired quantity. Number of particles is equals to mole multiplied to 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 particles over mole. To apply our formula, let's answer this sample problem. Methane, CH4, is the simplest form of alkane. It is used as a fuel in gas turbine and generator. How many molecules of methane are there in 7.30 moles of methane? Step 1 is to identify the problem. You are asked to compute for the number of molecules in a given moles of methane. Step 2, identify the given in the problem. The number of moles of methane is given. Moles of methane is equals to 7.30 moles. Step 3 is to write the working equation. Number of particles is equals to mole multiplied to 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 particles over mole. Step 4, substitute the given value to the working equation. Number of particles is equals to 7.30 moles multiplied to 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 particles over mole. Using the equation, calculate the moles of methane. There are 4.38 molecules of methane or CH4 in 7.30 moles of methane. In converting the number of particles to moles, the given value of number of particles is divided by the Avogadro's number. The unit of number of particles is present in the numerator and denominator. Hence, it will be cancelled. This results to the unit of mole in the numerator, which is the desired quantity. Moles is equals to number of particles multiplied to mole over 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 particles. To apply the formula, let's answer this sample problem. Cobalt is the 27th element in the periodic table. It is used in aircrafts and rechargeable batteries. How many moles are there in 8.03? times 10 raised to 24 atoms of cobalt. Step 1 is to identify the problem. You are asked to compute for the moles of cobalt in a given number of atoms of cobalt. Step 2, identify the given in the problem. The number of atoms of cobalt is given. Atoms of cobalt is equals to 8.03 times 10 raised to 24. Step 3 is to write the working equation. Moles is equals to number of particles multiplied to mole over 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 particles. Step 4, substitute the given value to the working equation. Moles is equals to 8.03 times 10 raised to 24 cobalt atoms multiplied to mole over 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 cobalt atoms. Using the equation, calculate the moles of cobalt. There are 13.3 moles of cobalt in 8.03 times 10 raised to 24 atoms of cobalt. Calculating moles to number of particles and vice versa. The figure below summarizes the aforementioned general relationship between mole and number of particles. There are specific terms used for a given chemical entity when using Avogadro's number. Formula units for ionic compounds, ions for charged particles, molecules for covalent compounds, and atoms for neutral elements. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos by clicking the notification bell.